Good afternoon everyone and welcome to part 4 of the B200 log series. Today we'll be looking at gold leafing of 3D prints. And after gold leafing you can get some very nice finishes on your 3D printed objects using a very thin layer of uh, gold leaf. So for this you'll need gold leaf. These you can buy in packets, in this case 25 sheets from any typical stationery store. You also need a uh, glue or adhesive for that, it's a special type of glue that's not too viscous. And then also a couple of brushes, one to handle the gold leaf with, so a bit of a broader brush, and one fine one for the application of the glue. So without further ado, let's get started. A couple of things to note with uh, gold leafing, uh, especially 3D prints, because the leafing is so thin, you'd have to make sure that the layer of glue that you applied is rather thin, and also goes in the direction of the uh, print lines itself otherwise you do see a bit of a, a pattern there where the glue was applied and then secondly make sure to add some masking tape around the area that you don't want any gold leaf you'll see there's some residual gold leaf over here that's very difficult to remove so ordinary masking tape is your best friend it's also very important is to make sure that the surface of your print is clean and free of any lint uh, for this i'm using some isopropyl alcohol a couple of earbuds for some cotton and I'm just going to wipe off the surface for any residual oils from your fingers or any, any lint. Alright, so with the surface nice and clean, we can now start with the addition of the glue. We've also got some water over here. So with this glue, we're going to apply a, a layer as thin as possible across the surface of the print and then allow for about 15 to 20 minutes to start drying out and activating the glue. It's going to become tacky to the touch, after which we're going to start applying the gold leaf. that for a good 10-15 minutes. You'll note that I was very careful to brush around the side. I want this lip also to be covered with some glue as well as partly inside these two concentric rings. Uh, after the process is done with the gold leafing we'll add some uh, copper tape similar to what you see on the edge of the enclosure just to finish that all very nicely. Remember less glue is uh, better overall to avoid having uh, area standing with glue as it thickens up uh, quite quickly. And with this print, we've got a glass-like finish due to the way that it was printed. So really minimal amount of info for the glue. It's really just for that surface adhesion that we require at the end of the day. For 10 minutes, the glue has now activated properly. It's nice and tacky. I've also got the gold leaf uh, ready to go here. And this size is just perfect to cover one square over the surface of the print over here. So the best technique I've found is to just lip the uh, whole packet or sachet of gold leaf Fold it over and then use the brush to gently just start moving it onto the glued areas. Also to try and keep it nice and straight perpendicular to the uh, area to prevent uh, significant wrinkles. Afterward we'll take a brush or even just our finger, very lightly make sure that it's uh, nicely adhered to the surface. For these areas over here I'll use the the blade over here just to cut uh, through that and make sure that it's also adhering to the inside where we've, where we've applied the glue. Alright, so here goes nothing. So the gold leafing is now complete. 
just utilize the brush to brush off the excess gold leaf once everything was secured. Uh, took a good hour to do all the post processing. A couple of tweezers also came in very handy to make sure that we get all the tiny little slivers off. You see, with the masking tape, there is a little bit of residue here and there. And uh, yeah, for the most part, it came out pretty well. So, the final step to do at the moment is to add these uh, copper ribbons. So, you'll see that the color is uh, quite nicely matching the gold leaf there. And this will go around the inside perimeter of the uh, of the enclosure and also ensures that the gold leaf here is sealed off nicely to get that uh, proper finish before we install the LED ring in the bottom. There we have the end product so we have the gold leafing added the two copper ribbons on the inside all that really remains is to still add the led ring uh, within this part over here glue in place which we'll do as part of the final assembly video we'll still look at gold leafing the top lid that goes onto the top of the enclosure and then in the subsequent video we'll look at how we can use laser engraving to add some decorative artwork also to the top enclosure but we'll do that in a future video so thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, thanks for, for watching. Cheers.